Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Thank you, Chairman. Members of the committee, here again. My name is Jason Gerhard, representing Northfield Franklin. <clears throat> and here to speak on restoring firearm ownership rights to ex-felons. Non-violent ex-felons. Emphasizing the non-violent part. <clears throat> I had testimony submitted from several people. Unfortunately, I did not bring printed copies for you. I would like to submit emails afterwards. I'll forward them. I just want to address one right, real quick. It's very short. Where? Okay. This is a resident of Manchester, which, as you know, is not high crime, but not definitely not low crime. So she's a single mother, two children. And she writes, my name is Molly Mae Washington, retired Army combat veteran, currently a registered nurse at the Veterans Administration. In 2015, I served a three-year state prison sentence for a nonviolent financial crime, embezzlement. Restitution will be paid the re remainder of my life. I own a home in Manchester, New Hampshire, and have 13-year-old twins. It is not safe. I contacted, uh, I contacted a lawyer, Penny Dean, in an attempt to restore my rights a year ago. Current law prevents my Second Amendment rights from being restored so long as I owe restitution. I am off parole and have satisfied my sentence. Please revise the law to allow nonviolent felons Second Amendment restora uh, restoration upon completion of their sentence. We shouldn't have to pay a lawyer $6,000 to accomplish a constitutional right. It was unknown to me until very recently. There's actually a cottage industry in New Hampshire where we have attorneys that help people get their gun rights back through the annulment process and so forth. <clears throat> so. There's obviously some opposition to this bill on that ground, which I can understand. But point being is, if someone is done with their sentence and they qualify under the annulment situation we already have on, in state law, I see no reason why we should have to file a bunch of paperwork and expend a, a lot of money in order to defend ourselves and our families. We already have the Second Amendment right. I'm sorry, not Second Amendment, New Hampshire. But we have the right to bear arms, protect ourselves and our property. And so I'm ex-felon myself, nonviolent. I served 12 and a half years. I'm about to be done with probation here in a little bit, a couple weeks. And I just, it's hard for me to understand how we can have a state representative, this is my situation obviously, but we can have a state representative who cannot defend himself. So if I'm going out into the parking garage late at night and somebody yells, you know, hate sweet cheeks, I'm just, you know, I'm just joking around. But if somebody, yeah, there's no way for me to defend myself. I mean, I have a knife, but come on. And it just, it just doesn't make any sense to me, especially now also we have women. And that's another thing with single mothers. And I, I don't know. It's just so hard for me to explain everything in the sense of it, the absurdity of it all. If you're done with your sentence and you're non-violent, you have no pre predisposition to violence. It, what are we doing? Really, all we're doing is funneling people into the court system where they have to pay obscene amounts of money in order to regain a right that they were born with. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.